Hello YouTubers, this is Len Winnie here today. Today I wanted to show you guys my, um, well, the Amiibos that I currently own. So I'm going to list them off for you guys and then tell you a bit about if they were like easy to acquire or not easy to get and so forth or how I got them. So yeah, um, and most of the, like all of these Amiibos are from the U.S. Uh, except for one. And that one that's not from the U.S. was provided by a friend who got it for me. So, yeah. So, we're going to actually start here. And this is the one, actually, that's the one that's not from the U.S. This is the Japan one of Pit. A friend got it for me. And I really do like the design for Pit right here. I was trying to find it everywhere over here, but if you didn't get it when it first came out in... Uh, United States, then it was really hard to acquire them. Pretty much, you just have to go on online shops and, and pretty much shell out a little bit more than you'd have to for this amiibo. But as I said, uh, this one was a, a gift from a friend. This is the Gold Mario, and this one was a Walmart exclusive amiibo in in the states. Uh, this one took a little bit of driving to get out there to go get it, but all in all, it was, once I found it, uh, it was easy to acquire. Fox, um, for Fox, I had Fox originally, Fox, Sheik, Toon Link, Mega Man, and Sonic as my first five amiibos that I had started for my collection. For Fox, I had to actually get in, in another town, I think that was like 50 or 60 miles away from my location and shipped it to uh, my hometown store. So yeah, this one's the Fox Amiibo. Sheik, where I live, um, I haven't seen any Sheiks in a long time, but when I first, when it first came out where I lived, there were quite abundant supply of them for at least over a month or so. So yeah. I really wanted to get this amiibo. Um, this one and then one other. Well, technically I have three from The Legend of Zelda. I have the Toon Link, Sheik, and Ganondorf. But I, I really wanted to get this one. If I had to... I had to... Uh, bleh, sorry, I'm tongue-tied today. Decided against... Uh, for To get Sheik or... Zelda, I decided to get Sheik. The Silver Mario, I had originally had two Gold Mario. I didn't care for its value whatsoever. When I collect a Meepo, I don't consider that I'll be trading them in for money and so forth. I'm just getting them, getting the ones that I want because I like them. And I wanted to add them to my collection. So I had two of the Gold, so I traded one in for a Silver and very happy got the silver this is Toon Link right here and one of my favorite features with Toon Link of course is his shield and I like the sword's awesome but then I really like the sheath the design on the sheath itself where it's like gold silver blue really nice there was let's see here one two three yeah, there were three amiibo that I had gotten all online together, and that was Charizard, Lucina, and Ness. And Ness was a GameStop exclusive originally, so I had gotten all three of those online, and they came uh, to the house, and they were all in excellent condition. I would say out of the 19 that I own, top five that I really like. Uh, th these top five aren't in any particular order, they're just my top five. Um, would be the design for Charizard, Palutena, Ganondorf, Lucina, and Marth. And if I had a sixth uh, place, it would go to Sh... Mm, oh yeah, it would go to Shulk. <laughs> oh, I, I almost... I skipped over Mega Man. I'll get to Mega Man. But yeah, this one is Zero Suit Samus right here, and I got Zero Suit Sam Samus first, and then 
drove to another town to get uh, Ganondorf uh, because unfortunately whenever I went there to try to get both at one location Ganon was already gone so within the area there was another um, Ganondorf at another GameStop so I decided to stop over there and, and they still had it so I grabbed it. I know you can't really see it, not as much as you could like on the Marth on his cape, but the emblem on the back is also on Lucina's cape as well. Ness from the Earthbound series. So, mm-hmm. Toe was easy to get. Um, I had originally gotten him on the day of its, his release in the States, but even if I hadn't, uh, they had a large supply of them at a Toys R Us store. <laughs> but I'm still glad I got Toad. Sonic. And here's Shulk. And uh, got Shulk from a friend, and also at my Best Buy. I don't know if, um, depending, like if you if you're in Arty Europe or Australia and stuff like that, then it's not really gonna apply to you because your your stock is gonna be different than the states. Um, but we received over here, at least for my GameStop, not GameStop, Best Buy, um, more restock of Amiibo such as Shulk. We even got some that were exclusive to Toys R Us, got sent to Best Buy, which is Greninja, uh, Lucario, there was more of Dark Pit available, Marth, more of the rare Amiibos um, at my store, where I live. Uh, so, yay, Shulk! I was originally planning to get him uh, since he was first originally at a GameStop exclusive, but um, try as I might, every time I would try to go get him, uh, I would be just a couple minutes too late or, yeah, pretty much a couple minutes too late and someone else had already grabbed him. But luckily, yay, have him now. And then this is Marth. And to my understanding, he's like the second batch of Marth. He's not the... Like, I'm guessing, like, people are saying online that his face was slightly different um, when he originally released, and then for the next batches, they had changed slightly his facial expressions or his face in general. Maybe the um, placement of him on there. Like, I had seen a picture of Marth, the first one, and versus, I guess, the second batch and stuff, and I don't know why I grabbed Shulk again. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I'm really happy that I got Marth. I don't I don't really care if it's the first batch, second batch, as long as it's Marth, I'm happy. <laughs> and here's Ganon. Now this this amiibo right here is just absolutely gorgeous. That detail to the cape with that metallic gold, especially at the bottom of the cape and around the sides, lovely. And of course, uh, gold metallic paint on his, um, all on his attire. So you got it on pieces of his clothing, clothing that's um, supposed to be metal. So that's really nice, especially on his shoes over here. Very great. He has a substantial amount of weight to him. It's really, it's really nice. Like, I would say the two lightest of Amiibos that I've ever had the chance of, like, holding. Like, this one is super light. Like, Zero Suit Samus is super, super light. And, of course, I would say the Wii Fit uh, trainer is really light as well. Whenever I had held that one, it felt like I was just holding the, like, the weight of it just felt like I was just holding pretty much the base. And that was all that was the weight for it. And then Palatina. And then this one was an Amazon exclusive for the States. And then two Amiibo, as you can see in the back, I haven't opened yet. The reason being is because I'm not going to open them until Christmas Day. And that's just me. 
Uh, I could open up them sooner, but I want to leave them as a special kind of surprise for me. Like, I don't know, it's strange. Like, I can really wait for something, even if I have already paid for it and it's still in its wrapping, I can wait maybe a couple days or even a couple months and then just open it on Christmas, on my birthday and so forth. Uh, for for other people that I do know of, when when they know that they're getting something and to wait to open it, they, they can't handle it. They just instantly are like, no, let's open the gift now. But yeah, I'm saving uh, King DDD and Dark Pit to be opened on Christmas and I will do an unboxing of those. Well technically speaking for Dark Pit I already had opened the box um but oh if you just heard that sorry <laughs> if you heard some background noise and stuff I think one of my relatives had sneezed <laughs> so sorry but um on track now uh Dark Pit is technically open boxed. I put him back in the box. The reason why I took him out of the box is because I saw that his, um, the weapon that he was holding was kind of bent, I think, a little bit to the, let's see here, to the right. So I wanted to try correcting that, kind of like holding it in place, the tip part of it, and then see if it would kind of straighten it itself out. And it kind of did. Uh, so at least I attempted to do that, and then I put it back neatly in its box and put some like little tape at the bottom and we'll open it up again. I know that's silly but eh. I want to open it on Christmas. I got the right. <laughs> so yeah let me move these out of the way. These amiibo. These awesome amiibo. And then I'll bring forward the King DDD, the Dark Pit and I know you guys have already seen the amiibo from previous videos but um, I guess it's good to just see which ones I have all currently at one time and then I'll do an updated video if I get any more amiibo and then show you then my current amiibo collection if it's expanded. But yeah, so got Dark Pit right here. And yeah, I took him out of the box. It doesn't look like it though. Um, I did really good. <laughs> so yeah, and I made sure like I cut a slit at the bottom and uh, just kind of like took it out and then the slit extends to right here and it pops open to the side took him out then put him back in then covered this and then put the tape at the bottom edges but yeah dark pit and king ddd so yeah uh i honestly don't know if they're gonna still have it at best buy probably not um there was a big collection of the amiibo like the restock at my Best Buy was over 200, over 200 Amiibo. Like, I stopped counting whenever over it, it hit over 200. So if they still have any left, then I'll go back during December. And if they still have it, I might pick up probably Greninja and Lucario because they're awesome. And if they do not have it, then that is perfectly fine. Um, when it comes to buying Amiibo, there's certain factors that just take place. Um, I'm not going to be a hardcore collector. Um, I don't really have the money to be able to, to do that. And I like to invest my money in other things. I have other things that I need to pay that's more um, immediate. But as for stuff that I pay for, for fun or f for my own leisure activity, um, I'll pick Amiibos here and there. And I'll also be picking like maybe a couple of manga or some anime or some video games like current games that I have are um, Corpse Party, Corpse Party the uh, Book of Shadows the game that I'm saving for Christmas is Corpse Party the Blood Drive um, that one I'll be opening on Christmas and other games that are that I'm going to get once they come in because it's going to be a special for PSP games where it was at a store buy to get two free so I'm still waiting for the other three, not the other three, one more to actually pop into the store before I pay for those. Um, those are uh, Prinny, Can I be Really Be the Hero, Prinny 2. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be saying this right. I'm sorry if I butcher it. It's sad because a um, friend actually kept telling me how to pronounce that name, but I keep forgetting. Um, Mana Kamiya, Kamaya, Kam Kamaya, Kam Kamaya. You know what? K H E M. I A, mana, that word. 
played it once before on the PlayStation 2. Excellent. And going to get it for the PSP. Yay! And if I see it again for the PS2, then I'm going to buy it. <laughs> and the other one, I don't know if I'm going to be saying it right either. Uh, Gitaro Man Live, I think it's called. It's a rhythm-based game that was released on the PlayStation Portable, at least in the States. I don't know about Europe and other places if you guys received it, but um, if you still have a PSP and like rhythm games, um, uh, maybe you should check that out and stuff. But yeah, uh, this is pretty much it for my video for Amiibos, and I'll be doing another video talking about the games that I pretty much just listed. <laughs> Alright, and I would like to say thank you very much for watching my videos, and I know it's been a very long time, and I thank you very much for your patience. Uh, this is Len Mooney signing out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.